Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the five best vendor flips that you can do right now. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay so today we're going to be going over five of the best vendor flips that you can do. These are basically ones that you can either buy different types of materials or source them in other means or currencies and then trading those in in order to sell those things like materials and pets for a profit and this is one of the easiest ways in making gold but though they do come at their own risks if you do not take sell rate into consideration. That being said let's move into our first one at number one which is the Borean leather vendor flip. This one is located within the North Rent Dalaran and what you'll be wanting to do is you'll want to speak to the leather working supplies vendor. Basically, he has the ability in order to trade in 10 heavy Borean leather in order to gain Arctic fur. Now, Arctic fur is used in things like the Mechanez Chopper, and these usually go for a high pretty penny. You can source this in other means through the skinning profession, but this is another way in which you can actually get a hold of these different types of materials for fairly cheap. The thing that you may want to consider for this is you want to gain your leather worker for this and you'll be wanting to craft the heavy Borean leather from the standard Borean leather. Borean leather doesn't really sell for all that much gold and if you actually add all of this up you'll be trading in at least 100 Borean leather in order to get one arctic fur as 10 Borean leather create one heavy Borean leather and then 10 of those heavy Borean leathers will then equal into one arctic fur. Generally you can make some more gold through just crafting the heavy Borean leather though the sell rate is fairly low as opposed to the arctic fur. So this is always a good way in order to make some additional gold if you are going to just negate the heavy Borean leather actual value for that. That being said, this is a very easy flip in order to actually do, and I generally do this on the regular. This is how I source all of my Arctic fur for my Mechanized Chopper Crafts for fairly cheap. And also along with that, this is definitely something to actually jump on, as Arctic fur sells for a very high amount of gold, as well as it generally sells very fast on most servers so definitely worth checking out if you are into your leather working coming on at number two and at no surprise is the spirit of harmony flip now this vendor is located within the veil of eternal blossoms and this is where you'll be wanting to go over to that vendor and you'll be trading in one spirit of harmony for an array of different types of mr pandaria different types of materials the best ones that I usually go for is the Ghost Iron Ore, the Golden Lotus, or I always go for the Serpent's Eye for my dual crafting for reduced cost Serpent's Eyes. Now, alongside that, you can always get things like the White and Black Trillium Ores, which generally sell quite well. This is because the the Spirit of Harmony, you are only trading in one, and you'll get five of that ore. Whereas with Ghost Iron Ore, you'll obviously get the 20 Ghost Iron Ore for one Spirit of Harmony. So of course this is worth checking out, as you can then use that to flip into other different types of materials that sell relatively fast, and you can bring in a healthy profit without even doing that much. So therefore I use this mainly for my crafting of living steel and also my jet and also my panther mounts. This is to reduce the cost even more and make myself more competitive on the mounts market. Overall, this is something that I really do enjoy and I've been doing this for quite a long time. Actually, it was one of my first videos I ever did on this channel, but that was mainly for the Golden Lotus, but you can adapt this, of course, to all of the other materials that you can get from this vendor. Alongside that, you can always have a look at this and price match this through worth it as this will do it on stacks of 200 spirits of harmony and that is found underneath flipping and that means you can go over there and just check it out without even having to price match as worth it will do it for you that being said let's move on to our next one at number three which is the frozen orb flip now the frozen orb flip is fairly straightforward 
We also have this one in within Worth It with waypoints with TomTom Tom, as it will tell you to go to the respective vendors. What you'll be wanting to do is go all the way over to the North Rend Dalaran and head over to the auction house. Right next to the auction house is the vendor which will sell you frozen orbs. Now, if you have your reputation up, Dalaran Rep, then you'll obviously get a reduction in cost. Goblins get the reduction regardless, so that is something worth looking at for the Horde. Now, alongside that, you'll be wanting to purchase these frozen orbs and then going over to the frozen orb vendor, which is right next to the leather vendor in Northrend Dalaran as well. So you can do both of those ones at the same time. What you'll be wanting to do is trade in frozen orbs for Eternals. And now Eternal Fire is generally the best one, but some of them can go for this a bit more as well, which is the Eternal Shadow and Eternal Water. All of the others really do depend on your server, but overall, Eternal Fire is probably your safe bet for that. Now, overall, this is something that I find very helpful, especially when I'm crafting my Titan still, as I can get my Eternals for a cheap cost. And it's very well worth double checking this within Worth It in order to see if you can actually get that reduction. Now, with all of that being said, I do find that this is a very good way in order to make a decent chunk of gold. And overall, it is and overall it is a very easy way in order to make some gold but it does come at its risks as the sell rate on Eternals do fluctuate from server to server so I would check that out before you start buying out mass amounts and one little keynote is not to flood the market with any of these vendor flips. That being said, let's just jump over to our next one at number four, which is vendor pets. Now, vendor pets are dotted around the entire world. The most ones that you are probably going to be most likely gathering is the ones from the Storm Spire and also from different factions in the open world. Now, when I mean different factions, I mean like going over to the Crazy Cat Lady, which is within Elwyn Forest and all of that jazz, as well as the Orgrimmar one for the snakes pets. These can be bought for like next to no gold at all. It's like only a few silver for these. And overall, you're basically just buying out those pets and selling those on the auction house for a higher markup. This is something that I do on the regular and it brings me in some steady gold each and every day. And overall, if you can pad out enough of those different types of pets, then you're going to be bringing in some decent gold overall. This is definitely well worth an entry level gold flip, but it works. So that's why I put this at number four on this list. That being said, let's just jump over to our last and final one at number five, which is the Ink Trader. Before we continue, consider supporting the channel by getting Dallas Guide to Gold Making, coming as either ebook or paperback on Amazon. This covers all aspects of gold making and how best to optimize yourself to make gold now and into the future. The link is in the description down below. Thank you. Now back to the video. The Ink Trader is something I've talked about in the past and I've actually gone in depth with as well. And overall, it's most likely one of my most favorite ones. This is because I generally am an inscription character and I prefer to craft glyphs. Now, I don't like to pay for huge amounts of gold for these different types of crafts for my glyphs, so that's why I use the ink trader, as I am able to gain one specific type of ink, at this moment is Umbral Ink from Shadowlands, and what I can do there is I can price match the different types of inks in order to get different types of all of the other inks that are available from there. Now bear in mind some of them are a 1 to 1 ratio whereas others are a 10 to 1 ratio so make sure to factor that in when you are buying from that ink trader. Alongside this I use this mainly to craft my glyphs but you can also sell the inks at just trading them in for the different types of inks and that usually will get you a high return but Note that the sell rate on some of these inks are fairly low, so you may want to just craft the glyphs which sell faster than the inks overall. So if you're a scribe character, then it's well worth your time in order to do. 
That being said, you can always use mass milling and just milling in general in order to make a load of these different types of inks for even more of a reduced cost, which will bring you in more gold overall. This is a great way in order to make gold with glyphs and how to reduce the cost. And overall, I use this on the daily for my glyph crafting every single day. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much everything I have to say for the five best vendor flips. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon.